Voting for the Winter Dorm Design Contest has already started. If you haven't gone to vote yet, the link is down in the description. You can be voting for your favorite entries every single day until the 10th of December. So get voting, support the dormitories that you really like. And if not, this video is going to be me reviewing the wackiest dormitories that I found in all of the submissions. Some of them could be the ones that I already very well like, but others I find to be a little bit on the underrated side. This is going to be a full compilation of dormitories that I found to be really funny to me. So let's get it started. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, the first dormitory that I got a feature over here is this one that's done by Blue X. His dormitory title says, Hydrate. And the description goes along the line of it's winter time, but it's still best for you to drink water and stay hydrated, people. It is interesting how you bothered to buy so many water coolers just to make this dormitory a thing. And you laid it out such that there isn't a gap left and right. It's fully occupying this dormitory. And it's really going to tell you guys to remind you, have you drink a water today? Better be drinking your water right now and then we can move on with the video. So thanks for the reminder for hydrating, Blue X. The next one goes along the same line of putting too many furnitures in one room and this one says well lit. So it's about this author Perry Rias learning that he can own a maximum of 99 modern hotel wall lights and he managed to put it all in this one room just to make it oh my goodness it's discord light mode all over again oh! The next few dormitories that I saw is always about featuring one particular operator and I find all the next few submissions seriously hilarious. This one is called Tone Stample and it's done by Chun Chun Maru. This is where Box 2 puts tones after 9 months and a failed attempt. I love the fact that it's just torn surrounded by boxes and he's just there sitting on the throne. It feels like this is just a dormitory where Torns is ridiculing Box 2 and just going to Box 2 telling him like Ha! Sucks to be you! Look at how much effort and money you put into trying to get me! Scotty, huh? I mean, Thorns? Alright. Without further ado, Thorns, welcome- OH! Fuck! Wait! No! No! no wait! Just like how Box 2 wanted taunts, and he did, then get taunts, I'll get Suzuran. Alright, 3, 2, 1! I think Box 2 got his taunts recently, but oh well, he could have kept the joke going. Too bad. Enjoy your taunts, Box 2. This one is called Saga's Last Resort for a Meal. So after spending way too much LMT on food, Saga's last resort for a meal is to meditate in front of her empty table with the hopes that some Nato Gohan will suddenly appear once she opens her eyes. I love how she's just sitting down on a chair and then she's kind of like praying like, Oh, holy skies, please drop me a bowl of chicken or give me my beloved Nato Gohan. And I also appreciate the fact that I recognize the author of this dormitory. It's done by MC Endercraft. If I'm not wrong, you are a particular YouTuber that's on the Arknight space right now. So nice to see your entry over here. Hope it does well. This is a freaking cute dormitory. The next one is something that I saw in my recent live stream where I was reviewing as many dormitories as possible. This is done by Venus and his description is continue the bloodline. The bloodline for who? It's for Cliffheart. And he has done to the extent to put Cliffheart in the room and show his love for Cliffheart by putting the word Cliff Love right on the wall using all the lights. It's definitely quite a devotion to show your love for Cliffheart. I appreciate the dormitory. I think it's very well done and really tells people who your favorite one is. Leon, I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but we really need to talk. Do you really need to fuck Chris's sister, Claire? Now this one is called Doctors with a Bad Boy and it's Kelsey being featured right in front. This is done by Tomofi and his description reads, Welcome doctor, have a seat. I heard you were having a nice chat with Amiya. Oh, this? Don't worry, it won't hurt one bit. Kelsey probably. And the room is really sus. It feels like something's about to happen if you were to actually be a part of this room. Like, what's with all that kind of prison wear, the little infirmary bed and the holy toilet sitting right there on the right. Like, I let your imagination do the work here as to what you think is going on. Now this dormitory, 
I don't even know how in the world is this freaking accepted, but there's no furniture. It's just wallpaper with a bunch of lights. And it's called Scuddy's Back Room. Back Rooms plus Scuddy Story, I don't know. And it's made by Kinda Sus. How in the frick did your dormitory get accepted? But for whatever reason, you are able to showcase Scuddy in this void empty space. Are you trying to describe her brain right now? I feel like that's what you're trying to do. No. <laughs> I think of all the wackiest dormitories, this one is my favorite, where it just says zero sanity as a description, and it's called Cursed Chair Confinement. It's just a dormitory where Scuddy is just sitting over there in the middle of the room, and she's like, how the fuck do I get out of all these damn chairs? It's freaking hilarious in its own way, and yeah, I really think this dormitory deserves more votes. I freaking love it, just to see that blur Scuddy over there like, I'm a Sims character. Now this one is just speaking the cold hard truth that it's a room of printers and this is done by the author of Doka. I use all of my brain, approximately one atom, that's um, a significant number. I think you should put yourself in the Guinness World Records um, to make this absolutely beautiful dormitory. It has everything you need, such as printers. <laughs> it's emphasizing to you guys that the one thing that you very much need in life is just a bunch of printers and it really showcases the operator well with Myrtle as the featured one of the dormitory. I love it, uh, very simple design although I wish she was more glorified than just being in a room of 10 printers. This one is called Wall Street Bets or Else. I saw a billboard with a watch on it and I think it was a sign of the time. This is done by the author of Hood. The fact that you buy so many clocks, you bother to particularly arrange it such that it's a beautiful pattern. This dormitory gives me fear, alright? Gives me fear to be trapped in a room like this. I might go insane if I'm in a room full of clocks, but it's cool. Um, you played it well with putting Mostima as the highlight of the dormitory, and I think it's got its own funny value to it. It's a it's an interesting dorm that you have created over here. I am not fucking drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not fucking drunk. Now this one is another room that's just leave it to your own imagination. It's called Suspicious, it's done by Lina Chuwu, and it just says something's going on. What's going on? I don't know, you put the things in there to fill in the story over here. <laughs> this one got me so bad. I reviewed this on my own live stream previously, but this is called Lab Done, it's run by the author Soleil, and the description says just a normal day in Penguin Logistics. Lab Done. It's beautiful, right? This is amazing of a dormitory. It's literally got all the things that you need. The whole Penguin Logistics, not everyone, but almost everyone within one dormitory, with a captured lab lamp right in the middle of the room, and she's like ascending within her capsule. I don't know what got into lab lamp's head, but she seems to be enjoying where she's sitting at, and like everyone else is happy that they got lab lamp captured as well. It's a beautiful dormitory, I would say. I really love this one. I hope this one gets the attention that it deserves. Speaking of ascension, this one is also another perfectly timed one, that for whatever reason, this guy called Koi wanted to make a room full of lamps. But in the end, while he was taking a picture, it seems like Suzuran got tired of these lamps and Suzuran is ascending into the freaking ceiling right now, which is the reason why the dormitory is called Ascended Auras. It's kind of funny just to see Suzuran just glitched out over there and she's kind of like disappearing, going in an adios mode. But I give, I give credit to him for giving a wonderful story to this dormitory. And the last one that I want to show to you guys is apparently a heavily voted one, which is called CC Toilet. So let others watch your pain. Patient is key. Don't be afraid. This is done by the author of Post, and it's interesting how you made this even more exhibitionistic than it actually is, that you had to put all the chairs there, like as if people are welcome to sit down there just to watch someone use the toilet. Well, I feel like somewhere in the world there is probably something as weird as this going on right now. And you made it even more glorified by calling it a CC toilet, to put all the CC banners around the toilet, and you even specially put a good trash can beside it. So well done to you. I love the design. You, you definitely hit a good humor mark on this one. And with that, that's all the dormitories that I want to show you guys in today's video. It's a compilation of all the wackiest stuff that i found. I think some of them are really, really good. And at least with this video, I'm putting it forth to you guys some of the dormitories that really caught my interest. It's a sweet and short one for you to sit in. And if not, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.